Dave Parody here with another slide makeover video. Today the slide I've selected is actually a visual already. And you might be asking, well why? Why would you select a slide that's already a visual? Well, because I want to show you that there are different ways to represent certain information. And today we're going to take a look at proportions. How do you make proportions really stand out when you present them? The slide we're going to start with is from a consulting assignment that I did recently, and it's a pie chart. It's automatically generated by their software, but I want to show you how we can make it even more meaningful. So let's take a look at today's slide. So here's our slide. It comes from a checklist assessment that the organization does in a particular uh, area. And what they're trying to determine is, are we doing the right things? And they have a, a checklist of uh, 100 items, and the spreadsheet automatically generates this graph. The green is what we're doing, yellow, we're doing it, but I need some work, red, we're not doing it, but we should be doing it. So this is the default that they normally use. And when you look at it, it, you know, it is a visual. It does say here are the proportions. You can see them. What I want to show you, though, is something that can add to the effectiveness of this visual. So let me show you what I created. So here are the results of our assessment checklist. When we take a look at the items that we are doing, uh, there are only seven out of 100 that we're doing it and doing it well. There's 48 that we're doing but definitely need work. And there's 45 that we're not doing at all but we should be doing. Now as you can see, if you think about these as stoplights in our journey, uh, with all those red and yellow lights, we're not going to get very far very fast. So what we've done here is to change the visual we're using to show a proportion. Now a pie chart is a good first start, but sometimes what we want to do is to create what I call a proportion diagram. And in this case what I've done is, is I've actually used 100 circles. So I've put the number of circles that were green questions that they answered in, in a green uh, format on the slide, the yellow and the red as well, the actual numbers. And what this does is it gives it a little more reality because people can go, okay, that's exactly the number and my gosh, um, you know, we're in trouble here folks because we got a whole bunch of red and yellow and almost no green there. So instead of using a pie chart, sometimes what we want to consider to make a proportion stand out is to use a proportional diagram. So what are the lessons we can learn from the makeover that we've done today? Well, before we get there, just a reminder, more information on the book, The Visual Slide Revolution, is at www.visualsliderevolution.com. And more information on my training, consulting, videos, webinars, is at www.thinkoutsidetheslide.com. So our lessons today on making proportions stand out. First of all, don't just throw out pie charts. Don't think that I'm saying get rid of pie charts. No. A pie chart is a great visual, especially it's much better than just simply throwing up a whole table of data up on the slide. So don't think that you know you should get rid of pie charts. In many cases they're a great visual. But I want you to consider that uh, sometimes when you're showing proportions, a pie chart is not maybe the best. Maybe you should consider a proportional diagram. And there's a couple types of specific proportional diagrams that I like to, to use and suggest that people consider. First of all is one where we are showing shapes, normally rectangles, sometimes circles, where the area of that shape represents the proportion that we're trying to show. So for example, one of the ones that I've used is we were trying to show how we're going to reallocate land usage on a, on a piece of land. And we show the rectangles that are proportionate to how we're using it today. And then we show a second set of rectangles that say here's how it's going to be used in the future. Now you could do that with a pie chart because it is proportions, it's percentages of the land. But it's far easier to understand for the audience when they actually see, oh yeah, that's what the land looks like. Oh, okay, that's what it's going to look like in the future. So using shapes where the area represents the proportion. And the other one is what we did today, which is to have a collection of shapes. In this case, I was using circles that will indicate for us not just proportion, but the actual numbers or scores. In a lot of cases, people think, well, I can't really show the actual numbers because you know there are too many of them. Well, certainly sometimes that happens. So for example, if I'm looking at, let's say, proportion of revenue from different uh, geographical areas, certainly a pie chart is the only way to do that because it might be millions or hundreds of millions of dollars. But where you have a reasonable number, and I would put reasonable at probably 100 to 200 as a maximum, 
you could use actual shapes to indicate the numbers and show the proportions that way as we did in today's makeover. And how do we create these particular proportional diagrams? What we do is use the drawing tools in PowerPoint. That's all you need to do is simple drawing tools like squares, rectangles, circles, those sorts of tools. Create the shapes, arrange them on the slide, grouping the like shapes together as you saw in today's makeover. And what you can do is you can create a proportional diagram that will help your message stand out better than a pie chart in those circumstances. Thanks for watching. This has been Dave Parody with another slide makeover video.